know everyone goes through this and everyone uh, finds themselves numb while going through something and it's like that hamster in the wheel that just keeps spinning and spinning and you're just like I'm not going anywhere what is going on why am I being attacked so much um, just remember that the closer you try to get to God um, the harder uh, the environment around you and the attacks uh, may get or will get uh, those two are possible because um, whatever area of your life that you're trying to grow it is impossible to grow by not going through you cannot sit and tell someone I understand how you feel let's say you lost someone I mean let's say they lost someone and they're crying and you're like I understand how you feel and no you don't unless you went through okay so what I'm trying to say is that when these uh, these things that hit us wh when we're trying to grow um, I've noticed every time I take take a step toward anything that I'm trying to uh, better in myself or my life or my family um, I'm trying to scratch my head but I can't I feel attacked and it's not just a feeling it is true um, but it's not the attack it's uh, um, you feel overwhelmed because it's like oh my gosh you know it's like when is this gonna stop one thing after another okay so that is the human response that is normal but we need to take a step back and and see uh, see yourself in 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 the middle of that circle and whatever you're going through uh whatever you're going through okay whatever situation just just back out put, leave yourself in that circle and and look at yourself from different angles okay this side that side right left front back just just look at your situation from a different angle and I mean your eyes um, you can ask people to uh, let's say if you have people who are very um, um, spiritual or smart or uh, uh, they have good character or they mean well in, for your life and they love you okay they will tell you the truth uh, and, but sometimes you you just need to step back and just say okay I need to see what's going on where am I making a mistake why is this happening to me why is this person saying that for, to me or why are they treating me like this uh, or or why I keep feeling the same thing why am I following the same situation taking a step back and just looking from different angles it always helps maybe this is too okay so let's fix it why because um sometimes when things like that are just going in circles and we feel like the hamster in the wheel um you cannot think clear you can you, you're gonna be like numb okay you're gonna be like so numb overwhelmed uh or numb by the overwhelming uh events in your life and uh, hardships uh, oh i can't pay my bills i can't this you feel like you're gonna lose your mind this is not the time to lose your mind this is a, this is the time for you and me to sit down and uh, acknowledge I'm tired I'm overwhelmed I can't take it anymore um, I don't know what to do it's the time to sit quiet find a quiet room even if you have to like uh, be a babysitter to watch your kids for one hour do it if you can and just go somewhere alone be quiet where you can just hear God you can talk to him and vent and let it out and and ask God's help okay and sometimes it also helps uh, fasting if you can fast uh, if you have no um, don't fast if you have too many medical issues health issues um, ask your doctor but fasting helps because it clarifies your mind because sometimes we're, we're hungry so we get hangry and, and frustrated we're like oh, I can't even think I can't even address this problem that I have right now because I'm so hungry but if we fast 
and we let our body uh, uh, feed itself with the storage that's that's within our body uh, then your soul is not going to be tempted by the desires and the wishes of your flesh your your soul your spirit is going to be uh, able to uh, you're going to be able to hear yourself and your spirit is going to be able to hear what God is saying to you in a clear uh, way and instead of when you're like hungry and eating and stuffing yourself because you're just so emotional so hard uh, i mean you're you're just so over overwhelmed and you just want to eat and eat um that's not the solution uh trust me i've been there i've done that it's not the solution but when you fast you make way to be quiet to hear in you in your spirit god and his guidance and you're also telling God that, hey, I'm really serious. Uh, I need help. Um, it's not that God doesn't hear and listen and, and hear us at the first time when we pray. Uh, it's that uh, um, it's the process that we need to go to build that faith, to build that um, <clears throat> to build that self confidence in God, that trust that we need to set. That 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 uh, that that we that way that we need to pave into trusting Him uh, with with whatever we're going through with our life with our difficulties, um, we have to go through things. So if you if we take a step back and say, "Okay, God, what what are you trying to teach me? What do I need to learn from here? What can I learn? Or or, or is or is this something um, out of my control? Can you take over?" Um, no matter what, either, whether we have control or not, always ask God's help. Because um, trust me, you'll save yourself, um, let's say, 40 years around the mountain, the same mountain, <laughs> like the Israelis. Um, so remember that the process is the best. It's the best journey, the process of going through something. It's like the car going through the car wash, the dirty car of yours going through the car wash, and going through all the stuff that it goes through to uh, be clean and then uh, rinsed and then uh, dried and then it comes out glorious, shining. Wow. You gotta pay the money for it. So the money that you need to pay for your struggles it's it's that you have to fast you have to uh, stand in prayer spend time with god um so that's whatever it needs to take for you to enjoy, enjoy the process okay enjoy uh, allow yourself to go through the process uh with an with an attitude of i'm going to come better out of this god is going to take this struggle and and help someone else because I went through it now this is my personal testimony this is my strength is this is how my faith got built this, I came better out of this I'm, I'm such a brand new car I'm shiny I don't smell I don't stink I'm dry I sparkle now I can tell others go through that drive uh, <laughs> through that car wash because you're gonna get clean you're gonna get uh, dry you're gonna get sparkly uh, or whatever they're going through um, you're gonna help someone else so think about the testimony that they can come they can come out of it um, there's so many examples in life that you can take one I, I would like to take um, Lisa Tur Turkist I, uh, my battery's dying I don't know if that's her last name how you say it but um I've heard her testimony of when her husband cheated on her uh, and then um, how God prepared her. Uh, she was fasting prior to finding out what her husband did. So she, when that she got the news, of course it was devastating, but her spiritual side was so prepared to, uh, I, to, to, not to receive but i guess to handle and go through it because spiritually god prepared her god knew and uh now her story now many may not believe that you know oh a lot of people will say don't you can't it's hard to forgive uh, uh uh infidelity and when someone cheats on you yes it's very hard i'm sure that's very hard um but i'm saying 
there's nothing that God cannot uh, take and turn around and, and, and use it for His glory and help others come out of it. Okay, where, where there is forgiveness, there's healing that takes place. These things take place. I'm sure she forgave her husband and probably um, she had to take years. I think this happened in 2014, I forget. She probably took her years to like uh, really forgive him and maybe every time she's reminded she has to still again like uh, she like forgive maybe I don't know I, I really don't know but I'm just saying that story whatever happened to her uh, God took it and now it's it she's using it to help others and and uh, God is being glorified through her situation what she went through now a lot of women will uh, don't agree might say man she should have dumped him she should have uh, found her um, she should have said man I'm, I'm way worth it uh, I have more value more respect about me and myself I, I should have um, I should have stood my ground and said I forgive you but I want nothing to do with you that's the society nowadays um, I don't know what do you think but whatever situation maybe this is not your situation whatever it is Whatever situation it is you're going through, um, just know that you may not be enjoying the process. You may not be enjoying going through and it's overwhelming. Just know that God is and can be with you while you go through it. And you can come out as a shiny, beautiful, strong, clean, brand new car or person. And you don't have to stink. Okay, those things don't have to linger around you and, and battling you and, and giving you depression, anxiety, and bitterness, uh, loneliness, and destroying you in your heart and your soul and your mind. Um, but instead, you can ask God to help you go through and, and, and ask God to uh, help you understand what you learned from it and how can I use this to help others, okay? Um, so don't despise the process that you're going through whatever you're going through uh if you if you if you feel right now that you're that little hamster in the spinning wheel uh we all go through stuff like that uh just know that you can rely and lean on god whether it's through fasting prayer staying quiet being in his presence going for walks listening to praise and worship for me uh it helps to listen to praise and worship and getting my mind off the problem and just uh, glorifying God and magnifying Him and not my problems. The second, the second we talk about the problem and how much, so many problems we have and how hard it is, um, that's going to be the big, it's big and grow and grow and grow and eventually suffocate you and you're like this little, you know, kind of like that. You know, it's like, don't talk about, don't talk about the process, whatever you're going through. I mean, if you have a good friend, it's good to vent and talk and let things out. Um, but God can be your friend too. Um, let it all out with Him. If you can't talk, write it down. He listens. He will help you take whatever you're going through and turn it into a beautiful testimony that has a message to heal others too. Okay? So, uh, so I'm not saying enjoy the process, but um, trust the process. Trust that God is in the process of whatever you're going through. Because that's how your faith is going to develop and grow. That's how you're going to grow. Okay. Um, sometimes we ask God, take us from this, please. Get this out of, get me out of this. But sometimes God may be using those situations to mold us, shape us into these warriors, into these prayer warriors, into these people who are going to help us. The battery is about to die. Thank you so much for watching. I will continue this with another uh, video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.